Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to do a literature review very simply and easily. So without wasting any time, let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about two literature review system. As you know that there are three types of literature review and one of the type is called the narrative literature review which we usually follow in our day to day life. Normally back in days people downloaded the articles and then they start reviewing those articles and then randomly they review the articles and put the information in their research article right and then comes the systematic literature review which is the modern way of doing literature review and finally the other types is meta analysis so we are not going to talk about meta analysis in this video hopefully in the next video i'm going to talk about meta analysis in more detail with an example but in this video i'm going to talk about the systematic literature review how you can do it very easily to in order to publish your article quickly in a good scopus index journal okay so my dear learners what you need to have a literature review back in days you don't need anything right you just go and google it and then find the articles no my dear learners in this modern area in this modern day you need some tools to do the literature review what are those literature review tools number one you need to identify a source where you can download your articles it might be google scholar it might be scopus it might be isi web of science it might be microsoft academics all these are the sources of article where you can download your articles okay so remember first identify the specific source where you are going to download your articles normally for us the general people those who are doing research or as a beginners we start with the google scholar okay then the next question comes uh, if we can download the articles, some of the articles are restricted. They said that you need institutional access to go through those articles. You cannot download it because it is a paid version, right? In order to solve that problem, you need two tools, which means two websites. The first website I am going to talk about is the SciHub. Okay, SciHub access to information in a human right is a human right. Yeah. Go to SciHub. And you can download the article very easily, very simply. What you have to do, just put the name of the article or the title of the article in this box and SciHub will automatically give you the access to that particular article which you cannot download. Okay. The next website is called the Library Genesis. The Library Genesis website also help you to download non-fiction, fiction, scientific articles and magazines. So what you have to do? name the article title inside this box and just search it this will allow you to download the restricted articles if it is available to Je library genesis or sci-hub you can do it very easy the next tool that you need is called the referencing manager tools okay for instance back in days we manually write the referencing and then comes the word document where you can insert the reference right remember nowadays you do not need to do those things what you have to do just go to the best referencing tool for your research i have a video on that go to that particular video have a look how to use zotero and mendeley to for your referencing it will make your life very very easy in order to collect the information from the web and accommodate accumulate all the references list of references in a suitable place and when needed you can insert the citation and at the end all the information you can add to the bibliography as well so go to my channel find out the reference manager tools and you can always find it in my video description box as well so use the referencing manager tools okay so you'll have number one source then how to rest un restricted access how to make the restricted access unrestricted then go to those websites that I'm showing and then reference managing software. Another tool that I'm going to talk about is called the MaxQDA software. You know, in my 
in my channel you will find this software for the literature another software that i'm going to talk about is called the max qda software for your literature review which is also available in my channel and you can find it very easily a full tutorial is giving you can see here how to use max qda for qualitative research literature review assignment writing and this software is very very useful because it will help you to use a thematic analysis both in the literature review thematic analysis as well as you can go through the qualitative thematic analysis so this is a fantastic tool use it okay so these are the tools that you need for your literature review now coming back to the literature review how you are going to search those literature review in a systematic literature review first of all i am going to give you an example here i am writing an article which is uh, title is application of ai on human resource management a review okay and you can see it's a it's a literature review paper okay so if you have a look the literature review paper what i have done is i am using some keywords to search my literature articles related articles okay so how can i do that go to google scholar okay if you go to the google scholar so you can see here that i am using few keywords to search my articles and how can i use these keywords or in other words in a systematic literature review you need an inclusion and exclusion criteria so keywords are your inclusion criteria the year or span or range of the years there where you are collecting your articles is also inclusion criteria exclusion criteria it might be book it might be you can see the newspaper articles that you are not going to include in your review that is going to be your exclusion criteria so let us see how it works you see in the google scholar okay if i copy this the whole thing for instance this is my title okay i copy this one i go to google scholar and you see in the right left hand side in the google scholar if i can mention using my pen it will be easier for you okay you see this is called the custom range custom range okay which means there is a time span or range you can put it there okay include patterns include citations i mean inclusion or exclusion you can always go to the area where you can see here custom range and in the custom range if you use 2015 to 2022 is your custom range and copy paste my article application and then search in the google scholar then it will give you something called the 2019 article 2021 article all are related to my topic okay another way you can go to the advanced search you can go to the advanced search and in this advanced search box you will find that with all the words here i am using all the words you know my keywords you remember the keywords you can use keyword search using this particular advanced search box of google scholar here with the exact phrase at least one of the word which is the keyword you can use okay and then here as well the return articles dated the range are also given in the advanced search so use this for your systematic literature review it will help you to write a systematic literature review very easily okay now Another point that you are facing is called the how to download the citations. As I know that I already told you Zotero and Mendeley will do it for you. But if you want to see the manual way of doing the citation, you see here the citation. I just want to share this one again. You see, this is, this is the citation area. The, okay, this is the citation. So if you click this one, if you click this one, you see the citation list are coming up here api style chicago style harvard style all the citation style that is that can be available for this particular article are given by google scholar so you can use this article citation into your reference list or bibliography list very very easily and you can always use zotero or mendeley and the tutorial of zotero or mendeley also given in my video uh, in my channel so you can look at it and it will help your life more easier okay so citation part is easy to 
achieve by using the Google Scholar. So these are the articles you can see. I already included the time limit. I included the custom range, advanced search option. I already told you the tools and techniques. Now the one of the other thing that you always find it difficult that thematic analysis. So in a literature review, there are different types of themes. Okay, under those themes, you need to write some article reviewed article. Correct. So in order to do that, I can show you from my article, you can see here introduction, then I started my literature review. The methodology is very simple. I have the study employs the narrative literature review, which is also using the systematic uh, way of narrative literature review. And starting from here, you can see literature review. First theme is effective, uh, effectiveness of AI in HRM, human resource strategy, the first theme. Under this theme, I have put some literatures, you can see here. And then again, I have employee relationship management, another theme, okay. Under this theme, you can use some literature and Max QDA software will help you to write your thematic literature review very easily. So have a look at the Max QDA software of my video in my channel. This will help you to narrow down and make your life easy for thematic analysis of the literature review recruitment okay this is another theme training and development under this theme i write down uh, my main idea is how to apply application of ai on human resource management but human resource management is a broad area under this broad area we have recruitment training and employee management right so so many things that you ha we have to include under those under the broad heading of human resource management and that's what i did management employee performance okay salary evaluation okay challenges and difficulties all these things i have also i added a nice little visualization in the literature review as well okay knowledge management is a part of the sub theme of the human resource management the application of ai and then finally you will find it here that there are many themes i have used in this particular video in this particular uh, article gaps in the literatures you see very important paragraph very very important paragraph every literature review section should have a gaps in the literature and what type of gap we are talking about there are three types of gap one is the theoretical gap methodological gap and finally we need to have an empirical gap so the gaps in the literature you need to write down like this way a very one or two paragraph and that will sufficient to summarize all the articles that you have reviewed in a summary way what is the gap you have found from the literature okay so then you write the conclusion so this is a this is a complete complete example of how to write a literature review based paper or literature review in general now another another important thing the smart way of doing it is open an excel file like this one okay i already did it then write down source here in my case is google scholar is the source of downloading the article you may add so source meaning that google scholar microsoft academics scopus web of science any source or database that you are using to download the article remember my dear learners whatever you are using choose a specific source or one or two sources not all the sources at one time okay that's an advice then go for title what is the title of your article then publication date what is the date of your publication which means the article that you have downloaded reference you can write down the reference remember from the google scholar go to the site and download the different type of referencing if it is apa put the api referencing here then what is the methodology of that reviewed article the article that you are reviewing what is the methodology there then what is the general the next one is the findings of that particular article that you are reviewing okay and then theoretical gap is there any theoretical gap there are many theories available and maybe one or two theories are missing in that particular article that you are reviewing so write down the theoretical gap then methodological gap write down the methodological gap maybe you are thinking about some alternative methodology but the methodology that is mentioning in this particular article that you are reviewing it is not suitable for the research question or research objective fulfillment so you can write the methodological gap here empirical gap is there any empirical analysis probably the article that you are reviewing probably using the descriptive analysis but you think that in this particular case it may be 
suitable for inferential statistical analysis like correlation, regression or any other statistical analysis. Okay, so write down that as an empirical gap. And finally, the gap to address. What are the gap you are going to address and how? Okay, very important. What are the gaps that you have found from the literature review and how you are going to address those gaps in your research? Just write three to four sentences and associate it. What are the solutions that you are going to apply through your research article? And if you can follow this table and put down all the article listed here, it may be 10, 15, or 20 articles, and then complete this table. This will give you a clear picture of your literature review gap and literature review analysis. Use this table into your Word document while writing your literature review section for article, for research report or thesis or any other institutional work. For example, master's thesis, PhD thesis, MPhil work. You can put it that this table inside your literature review section. And I'm pretty sure this will give you a holistic view of the literature review analysis very easily. I have an article recently published. One of my article is called the sectoral diversification of UAE towards a knowledge based economy. In this particular article, if you can see that in the literature review section, review of literature, I can, I have subdivided the, or the headline of the literature review into different themes, economic diversification, then theme two is the knowledge economy then performance of uae in diversification and knowledge based economy so you see these are the subdivided part of my literature review which is called the thematic analysis of the literature review and max qda remember will help you do that very easily okay but this is one of the way of syst is a part of the way systematic literature review analysis okay remember my dear learners and then another article that I would like to share here is called the Rural Tourism as a Transformative Service of Community Well-Being, a Systematic Review, Literature Review. In this particular article, which these two articles I am going to share in my video description box, you can download it to for, for, for follow. In this particular case, I said that my methodology is a bibliometric analysis because all the bibliometric information I put it here. And you see, the Scopus database I have used in this particular case. You remember I told you the source is very important. Whether you are Google Scholar, Scopus or Web of Science, the source is very important. So I put the source upfront, Scopus database. And gradually I write down the way of doing the literature review. And you can follow this way of systematic literature review of the article. And I purposely use the bibliometric information as a part of my systematic literature review. You can use this type of literature review in your work if you wish. But more commonly, what we have seen in my article is this one, the AI application of human resource management, a subdivided subsection of the thematic analysis. And under theme, you can do your literature review. And in order to collect the literature, remember I told you, first of all, you need to check the sources then download the articles, then put it in a folder or Excel file, okay, the way I have shared here, okay, the way I have shared here. And then once you have it, then you can analyze your literature review gaps, theoretical, methodological, empirical gap, write down the gap of the literature review at the very end of a literature review section. And then finally, you start doing to address those literature review gap in your research. So I think my dear learners, this whole video, although it is a little bit long video, but I'm pretty sure every second of this video is useful for your literature review purposes and all the tools and techniques that I have shared here, this can be a cutting edge literature review for your next article. And I'm pretty sure you can publish it in a very good impact factor journal in no time. So with that note, thank you so much, my dear learners. I will see you with the new information, new technique of research in the next video. Thanks. Bye-bye.